Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. Um, this is the first in a series of videos on working with the desire elementals. Uh, these are composed of elemental essence, and uh, they're sometimes called the lower mental body. And uh, I just wanted to give you all a heads up before starting this video uh, to what I've been noticing lately is that people, as the awakening takes place, are beginning to hear their desire elementals and t talk with them, but very frequently they don't know that their desire elementals are part of them themselves, and instead they treat them, uh, they believe that they're someone else, maybe someone of the opposite sex that they know, for instance, and I quite frequently see people or hear people getting into acerbic arguments uh, bitter arguments with their own desire elemental simply because they don't know that that this is part of themselves. So as we proceed on the path of awakening, one of our jobs is to make friends with our own desire elementals and begin to train them up to to be in the world in the way that we wish them to express themselves. <laughs> so. I've been working with Desire Elementals today while I'm out hiking in the beautiful Santa Monica Mountains. My Desire Elemental or Elemental Essence and those of other people as well. And I had a few um, like rules of the road. So for when you decide to begin your first conversation with your desire elemental. And so first I'm going to give you the list of names that people call desire elementals uh, in different traditions. And it's a long one. It goes like this. Desire elemental, elemental essence, lost child of the soul, or lost children of the soul. Uh, the child within. Sometimes they say, for if it's upset, they say childhood trauma or childhood uh, wounding, soul wounding. They can also say, then for the healthy one, they say the viscera, the gut brain, the vital body, the lower mental body, depending on the tradition. All of those things refer to that quality of intelligence we call, I call, the desire elemental. So, you have to understand they don't have a cerebral cortex. They go with enthusiasm and joy. They love joy and happiness and gratitude and appreciation and light and love. They love those things. And so they respond best to those things. But because we've been in uh, a dark duality until the shift in 2012, they have learned, usually before one month of age, um, like slogans that have been carried through unconsciously or subconsciously all our lives in the gut, in the viscera, in the neurons there. They've learned slogans that are not joyful and are not happy or not grateful and are not feel full of appreciation. None of those good things. No love. They've learned a lot of... Um, well, I've added some enthusiasm because they are very enthusiastic to some very, um, to some very um, compromised wording, such as, for instance, F you in the a-hole, that's a favorite. With, said with great enthusiasm by the lower mental body uh, that is uh, not yet tracked by the upper mental body and trained, as we do when we start on the spiritual path. Or it might be, you don't love me. You don't love me, over and over again. That's another one. Okay, then there's, then there's a feeling that the lower mental body sometimes has. It goes like this. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to die. He, meaning the person that's like the, the, the upper mental body's like owner, he 
doesn't even know I exist. So the minute you start talking to them, uh, they know that that you know that they exist, and that eases the the existential anxiety or angst that they have. And this is the existential angst that is coming to the fore and causing anxiety attacks and panic attacks as we are rising to and awakening to the light of new earth. So, so that's, that's, that's the beginning of not feeling afraid and not feeling concerned for your life. And like that is to talk to the lower mental body. So we say, for instance, <laughs> there have been a lot of tea. The lower mental body, the um, elemental essence, takes on the flavor or taste of the personality with which it's associated. And um, elemental essence is not like, you know, a physical body. It's, um, it stays mainly with us, it associates with us, but, but there's elemental essence everywhere on Earth in creation. And uh, we have some that tags along and trails along with us around the lower triangle. That's another name for, for uh, the vital body and all that. And, um, but it comes and goes in little bits. Like for instance, some might, some might be attracted to someone else that we're walking past and go on off trailing after it. And when it does that, it takes on the flavor or uh, taste of that other personality that it's then associated with. And vice versa, we might pick up um, elemental essence just from the air or from the mountain here where, where I'm standing or from other people or like that a little bit. And then that takes on, patterns itself after our own personality. So, so that's about elemental essence. How it's, it's cr growing in intelligence and so the point of elemental essence is that it should become more and more intelligent and more and more God aware, just like the point of everything in creation is like that. Um, so, so it's learning and we're learning. We're learning together. <laughs> so, so you have to you have to listen at the very beginning to the story of your desire elemental. You have to find out, for instance, what was going on in your parents' minds when they made love one month after you were born. That's what gets picked up. That kind of very um, deep lesson about the vital self. So, if for instance, uh, your father may, I ran across a case like this recently. If for instance, your father was angry at your mother because he hadn't been able to enjoy um, sexual relations with her for quite some time before the, you were born um, because of her condition, then uh, he might feel anger um, while while this first act of um, sexuality takes place in your young life and you might be nearby, maybe in a bassinet nearby in the same room or so forth, or in a motel room even on the same bed, you know. So, so your um, vital body would have picked up that anger that your father was feeling about being deprived of what he fe his vital body felt was rightfully his during a few months bef in the last months of pregnancy. Uh, so that's just one example. And he might say, he might have been angry, and he might have said, F you in the A-hole, or something like that, uh, in his lower mental body, while that first act of, of, very important first act of sex that you observe takes place. So all your life you might be going, wow, the enthusiasm of this thing, the greatness of this thing, and yet your lower mental body is saying something quite the opposite, simply because of patterning in very early childhood. That's just one example. So, let's see other things it does. It, the things, the main things that are the lookout of the desire elemental are, I want to stay alive. Please don't threaten me. Please try to keep me safe, you know. Keep all the cells of the body together. Please, the cells have this concern too. You don't know about us. You don't like us. You think we're too fat and all this, you know. And so, so talking to the cells is also important, but that's an aside. So, the numero uno. 
please keep me alive, please big person, please big person keep me alive, you know, numero dos. Um, I know that we're supposed to be interested in people out there. We're supposed to arrange for you to be attracted to them. But hey, what kind of person are you interested in? So they go on. They don't know. You know, you have to define exactly what it is that you want in the, in the area of a sexual partner. The third thing, rule the world. We will rule the world. We will get our way. We have a master plan and all that. That has to be toned down a little, you know, because we might have a master plan, but other people might object. <laughs> so, so the whole thing about the higher mental body is it kind of takes control of the situation and it offers alternatives to the um, early childhood malware that we picked up in the lower mental mind by mistake. Okay. Um... So a couple more things. Elemental essence just doesn't have intellect. And you, one of the things that you can't do is you can't offer it comparisons. You can't say, for instance, oh, I know something better than this that you can say. No, it won't understand because it, it can't keep two things in its intellect, its non-intellect, at the same time. You have to say like this. You don't want it to say that F you in the mm -mm. again. You don't want that to happen again. So you say, I know something better. See the enthusiasm and the heart chakra is very open. And they go, yeah, like that. And you say, yeah, would you like to, would you like to know? And they go, yeah. And then you tell them, you say, you say, when you see somebody this and such, it makes whatever see somebody like that I'll tell you when it's really when I really want you to then you say I love you I love you you caught it and they go yeah like that very simple very simple thinking enthusiasm and open heart with an open heart you speak to your desire elemental and you speak to the truth of the moment okay you can only carry like one idea in their mind well it's not exactly a mind it's a like an enthusiasm. <laughs> Y'all take care. Love you lots.